Hey, stop, 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 stop. Ah! Funniest thing is now is that me and Louis did not get on at all. We used to be at each other's throats while we were on the X Factor. We were two completely different characters. And he took it so, so seriously. You know, he was really loud and bubbly. But and... whenever I wanted to do anything like slightly mischievous, he was always the daddy. I think there was one point where I was just, I literally wanted to whack him. <laughs> That's why I got the name as Daddy Direction. I feel like me and Louis always had the most connection through everything because, I mean, there was a point where we did not get on at all. We at the beginning, you were not friends, There was you? huge friction, like, we just, there was a, we had this one massive row one night where, like, he was, like, playing my video from when I was 14 on the show by myself when Simon said no, like, replaying it in the bedroom, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> but that is... I hate you so bad right now. That, <laughs> it's like, and Simon's yeah. going, it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, at the start of it, me and him just didn't click at all, and I think it's because we both had that leadership thing within us, but then we kind of got to a point where there were certain things he was better at making decisions on, and then there was other things that I was better at making decisions on. So we kind of bonded together, and then, I mean, bless him, I mean, Lou has been through so much in the last few years ever since the, yeah. the band ended, and whenever I have a problem, whenever he has a problem, we always call each other about it, make sure we check in and whatever else, so. A clear shot of me almost dying on a, a hotel, like, luggage trolley that Louis has decided to throw around the place. The thing about Louis was he used to every time actively try to break something in every single like music video or thing that we were doing. So it was like, for me, it was like a constant job of trying to talk to the camera or whatever was going on, but also watch what the hell this guy over here was going to do next because he was just going to do something crazy. So the last three tracks are I Want to Write You a Song, Temporary Fix, and Wolves. Liam? Oh, no, no, no. How are we feeling, Sunshine? You good? Anticipate, re you shut your mouth. I'm trying Why to not? be nice. Why not? This one here. Sorry, carry on. Let me, let me be real. Sorry, carry on. Go on, go on. Uh, thank you, Liam. Thanks. <laughs> uh, you're, you're two men down at the moment. These guys. Look at these guys. You say we do do a lot of the speech, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. He's had a few too many drinks. It's his first time I've had a couple, I've had a couple of drinks. Nice. Yeah, 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 so I've had my first bevy. Um, uh, Liam's been trying to be mature, but he's been struggling. You know how it is. Best friends Liam and Louie. I mean, it's like them fucking avocados, you know. What's wrong with avocado? Trendiest food of all time. No, it's like if I have an avocado and tag it, tag it in my picture, like, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm a boy -o. They do piss me off, avocados. Why? Because it's just, it's just like one of them, and you go to LA, you see people in LA and they've got fucking avocado on toast. I bet you like it, don't you? I'm, that's what I have most mornings, actually. Oh, Pano, come on, lads. Come, what do you mean? Who goes on this? People they, like they, you. They, you go on it. You go on it and get naked to get a date. Oh, uh, which is littered with a small bear, some toilet roll, a dustbin. I think there's an umbrella, a rake, something else. And then my good old friend Louis stood behind him. Uh, Niall had gone in the studio by himself and was writing. Me and Louis were bored and couldn't think of anything to do. So we basically just trashed his car. Now, this looks like a lot of fun and very innocent play, but we actually gave away Niall's number plate that day, which wasn't the smartest thing I think we've ever done. It's buzzing for hashtag KMM. Hmm. What is KMM? Oh, it's Louis' song. <laughs> yeah, me too. If you're having a crisis, which one deep how would you turn to? Out of all of them, I suppose, and we both kind of lean on each other for a lot of different things, I would say Louis is the one that I turn to the most. I think when we were in the band, if there was ever like a problem band-wise, me and him would always try and figure it out together. So we often do that through life now as well, which is good. Jeffield. 
I sent Liam a song about two weeks ago, Liam Payne front band, but never heard back from him in the little Wait, hold on, Liam who? Sorry. Liam Payne, Liam uh, Payne oh, from the band. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From the band One Direction? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I yeah. Forgot about them. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, don't be a kid. <laughs> why, why did you and Liam have such a strong connection? Well, as he, as he said, he said it a few times recently, we didn't see eye to eye at first, um, which was funny. <laughs> um, but um, I always like to lark about with Liam. I could always have a laugh with him. Um, and Liam don't take himself too seriously, do you know what I mean? I could always have a proper laugh with him. Um, he's just a good lad, he's just a good guy. Easy to hang around with. They all are, though, to be honest, all lads. Liam is strong noble um perfect and warm, warm. <laughs> <laughs>